Howdy folks, welcome back to Seek on a Speed 252. Not just any old Seek on a Speed 252, it's the Professor Seek on a Speed 252. And today I'm going to teach you a lot about the Seek Miniature Corvette, but not just about the car in general, about its order code status and what you need to know if you're ordering Seek Miniature Corvette. But if you're viewing this right now, and you love Corvettes and you love cars and you haven't smashed that subscribe button yet, then you definitely need to do so. And for all my students that are out there today, well guess what, you ain't running me away, I'm here to stay. You're going to learn today all about the order code status of the CM Engine Corvette and the way we're going to learn, I'm going to quiz you at the end of this, so you've got to be prepared. I'm telling you right now, you've got to take your notes. But in order for me to know that you was in class today, each and every one of you, for the viewers on the camera, and for everyone that's in class today, I'm going to need you to go ahead and push that subscribe button so I know that you was a part of class today. Because if you don't push that subscribe button, then I won't know if you was part of class today. And for you all who haven't subscribed yet, definitely do so and leave your comments down below what do you think about the order code status as well. And this is going to teach you a lot about the car as far as where your car is at. This is the video you want to watch all the way through from the beginning to the end. I'm telling you right now, you want to watch at least 98% of this video because if you skip any of it, you're going to miss a lot. This is a video you would need to know. This will teach you where your car is at in the order process and how to find out where your car is at also in the order process. So with that being said, definitely subscribe to C. Garner speed 252 subscribe baby yeah bam bam let me give you a few seconds to go ahead and do that right there push that subscribe button because I would love to have you part of the community and like I say each video I'm going to try to change some different things up for my classmates to my audience as well you guys who I deeply deeply love you guys are great and I want to give you something to remember me by at all times. When you see me in person, I want to be like, man, your students are knuckleheads because they are. They sit, sit your bus down. John, John, don't do that. Sheila, sit down. Yo, don't be playing with me. I'm not, I'm not, I've been teaching for 10 years in the inner city. I've seen it all and done it all. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to be playing around with any of that bull crap. I know the last professor left because y'all treated him like crap. And I'm going to two before that. I ain't going nowhere. I am here to stay. You're going to learn about the 2020 Corvette. This is the topic you all are going to learn about today. All right. So thank you all that just pushed that subscribe button. I'll look at my attendance later to see if you guys subscribe to the channel or not. With that being said, once again, we're talking about the 2020 Corvette. Corvette is what we're going to talk about today, but not, like I said before, not the car in general, but the order process of where your car stands with GM right now. Let's get into it. Sit down. So we got the 1000. And just because I'm writing all these codes on the board, doesn't mean that your car is going to hit every single code. Because there's going to be some codes you don't want your car to hit in the first place. But I'm going to explain why you don't want those kids. So definitely watch this video all the way through. You got 2001, and I was in middle school in 2001, but I'm here teaching you guys today. So, once again, if you're a car lover, Corvette fan, this is something you definitely want to watch. John John, go to the principal's office now. I can't. Go, 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 go talk to him and tell him what you just did. You should not have done that. I will see you when you return, and when you return back, I need you to plug your notebook and take these notes down because... It will be a quiz at the end of this test. I'm telling you that right now. I'm going to need all y'all to pass. Yeah, because I'm about to provide some great information right here about the C8 Mini Engine Corvette order status and where you guys may hold your future Corvette. You know what I'm saying? Okay, pay attention. So we have the 1000 order on hold at dealership. At this point, you have gone to the dealership and expressed your interest for a 2020 C8 Mini Engine Corvette, the next generation Corvette, by the way. And so, right now you're in a 1,000 order status at order dealership. The next order hold is 1,100 order place at dealership. You went to the dealership and said, hey man, I really want this thing. What's the next step? You didn't put down your deposit. You're getting the ball rolling on this next step of ordering your next generation Corvette. And I'm sure some of you guys have already been through this previous test before with your previous generation Corvette. So you have the 1,101 order into the system. Pretty much your salesperson put all your information in the system. Told them kind of you know, what they needed to know in order to get this process rolling even further. You have the 1,102 order into the web. Pretty much that's self-explanatory. You have the 2,000 order accepted by Chevrolet. 
I'm telling you that right now. That is the best code on this board right here. Your order has now been accepted by Chevrolet, which meaning they receive your allocation, they receive your information, they accept your order, they plan to build your C8 Minister Coyote, ladies and gentlemen. Your car is about to get built. That's special. So be happy about that. You got your 2001 order generated to dealer. That means that GM has sent stuff back to the dealership saying this is what we want to do, this is how everything's going to go, blase, blase. And you have the 2005, I was in high school in 2005. You have the 2005 order replaced with the GM perspective order. At the end of the day, I'm telling you that right now, and like I said, each one of these codes, there's 28 codes I believe, um, and in each set of codes, I'm going to tell you my personal preference of which one I think is the best codes out of all of them, and out of all these seven right here, the 2000 order accepted by Chevrolet is the best code to be in if you're in this order status. Why? Because at this point, if you're trying to get your car, maybe in December, maybe in January, maybe in February, you want to have, you want to be in a 2000 um, order accepted by Chevrolet status at this point in time. Now, don't quote me on this. That doesn't mean that um, if your car becomes in the 2000 status in the next month or two, doesn't mean you may not still receive your car early on. I know a lot of you are concerned about getting your cars in February um, or January. You'd rather wait until March or April when you have better weather in your area, which is completely fine. That's understandable. I know a lot of people is pressing to get this car really quickly, um, but at the end of the day, you can't control that. Depending on how you built your car, depending on how you spec it out, that's what's going to kind of con control and the allocations and your dealership, all that plays a factor in when you're getting your C Manage Corvette. But today, this video is just going to teach you the codes and where and how to learn where your car is actually at with GM. John John, sit down. I'm glad to have you back. Now you probably learned your lesson. I hope Rich Ultra Ball told you that you should not be throwing pencils over at Mark. That's not a good idea. Stop throwing pencils at him. He hasn't done anything to you. He's a great guy. I'm sorry, Mark, that he did that. You won't run me away. You're not going to run me. I'm here to stay, buddy. I'm here to stay. I am professor. See you on the speed 252. I am here. I am here. So, what the? Bite me. Bite me. Is that what y'all did to the last professor? Bite me? You think this is going to run me up out of here? This is nothing. Bite me, please. That's old news. Get out of here. You think that's going to bother me? That's not going to bother me. Bite me. Ha, ha, ha. That's like putting a kick me sign on my back. That doesn't bother me. <laughs> God, it's kids these days. <sighs> I'm Professor Seek on a Speed 252. And I ain't going nowhere. All right. So let's get into the next set of codes on this list that you all will need to know because I'm testing you all later. And what you all need to know because you actually all plan on ordering a Corvette or a car in general. I'm sure it's all the same process. So. Let's get it right here. Have your 2500. Ooh, I would love a 2500 diesel truck right now. Ha <laughs> Woo! That'd be pretty cool. Or oh, 3500. That'd be great too, you know? Or oh, 1500. Just a truck in general, you know? Just a truck in general. We have the 2030 order edited by Chevrolet. This means that maybe something Chevrolet saw that needed to be changed that wasn't correct or something you couldn't do. Maybe you decided to get a 1LT and put in something that doesn't go in a 1LT. This is just a hypothetical situation. I'm not saying this is accurate. And then Shirley decided to change it. And then you received the 2050 order number, which means that they changed the order. So that tells you that the order was changed because they needed to change it for any other reasons. Um, hopefully your dealership can tell you enough about the car so they can say, hey, this is something that you can't do so we can make sure we can get your car processed quickly. Um, you get the 2500 status, which is the order preference order number, which you already know exactly what that means. Um, you have the 3000 order accepted by production control. I'm telling you right now, that is the best one on this board. So I'm going to go ahead and put a star beside this because that means your car is going to be built. That means GM has now officially accepted your car for production control, which means that your C8 Manager Corvette, ladies and gentlemen, will be built. Yes, it will be built. Yes, it will be built. Yes, it will be built. You will get a C Minish Corvette, not you all. You guys are too young for a C Minish Corvette. Just learn the process of the order status so when you time you get a Corvette in the future, you will know how it works. You can say, Professor, see you on a speed 252 taught me this already. So, a 3000 
to me, is the most important number on this board because your order was accepted by Chevrolet Production Control. You next have your 3100 order available, which means that you clearly already know what that means. It's not even, it's self explanatory. You get the 3300 order selected and scheduled, which means that now you have a date. That means that they put a date on your order number already. It could be December 9th, 2nd, I'm just throwing some guesses out there, January 16th, February 25th. I don't know. This pretty much saying you have a date on your order when your car will be built and rolling through the signal line. We keep rolling, 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 rolling. And now you have your 3,400 order broadcast, which means that everyone at this point knows and their mama and their brothers and their sisters what date your car will be built, which is fabulous because that means your car will keep rolling, 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 rolling to the next set of numbers. So uh, right now, these are the second set of numbers um, of the order status process and once again you want to watch this video all the way through so that way I can teach you how to figure out where your car is in the order status process and some of you who may alloc have allocations right now don't know where your number is at the end of this video I'm going to have the phone number and who you need to contact in order to figure out where your car lands and for all of you that already know leave your comments down below of where you can actually um, leave your comments down below of what order status number in your car is possibly in. If you don't know, leave that down below as well. And I hope this information is helpful to you. Let's get on to the next set of codes as well. Whoopsie! Once again, if you're a viewer of this channel right now, and you're watching this, and you haven't pushed that subscribe button yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, but you're going to learn a lot on this channel. I'm going to get a lot of information. I'm going to get a lot of information from Chevrolet and a lot of people who are around the car a lot more often other people and I'm going to tell you right here on this channel and I love those guys you guys are great for everything that Shirley did for me I really really appreciate it which is why I'm now able here to get in front of the whiteboard and teach everybody what they need to know about the next generation Corvette and once again like I said just because you have all of these numbers on the board here and they're accessible doesn't mean that your car is going through every one of these processes, right? Because you can have, you can be at a 2000 status right now, and that means your car may sit in that 2000 status for a long time. That means GM has accepted your order, right? They accepted your order to be um, to be built at some point. Doesn't mean it's going to be built anytime soon. There's a couple of waves on how they plan on doing this. Once again, depending on your dealership, how many allocations they got, how you spec and built your car out. Um, so right now you have 3,800 vehicles produced. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, that means you and your car is ready to be together. That means your car is done. It is rolled off the assembly, land, assembly plant line, whatever you want to call it, and it's sitting outside ready to come to you. And 4,000 available to be shipped to you. That's another exciting thing to talk about. The 4,000 level is available to ship to you. You, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you right now, you're ordering a seed manager for that, and you're in a 4,000 status, then you are the man and you are the woman because you are getting a C8 man engine Corvette. So then you go to 4,104 Bellman invoice created, which is pretty much the invoice that is sent to the um, the uh, the transporter so you know how much it's going to cost, blah, 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 blah. That's part. Then you have 4,000 and boo. I'm going to say boo because it's four and then B-O-O, -O, boo. Car is waiting for transport. At this point in time, I'm going to say boo because your car is just sitting there waiting on this lady or this gentleman to come pick it up, put it on the truck, and send it to wherever it needs to go. And you got 400 and do, which means that it's sitting in quality control. It's sitting somewhere in the United States just sitting there on hold. That's pretty much what it boils down to. And you have 4,106 Bellman release, which pretty much states to me, make sure I say this right, Google has left the property. Oh man! The vehicle has left the property. That means your CA manager Corvette is on this 18 wheeler headed to wherever it needs to go at this point, which is very exciting for you. For you, for you, for you, not for you. John John, sit down. Sheila, sit down. No, put your hands down, but this ain't the right time to ask any questions, okay? And so now we at 4,150 vehicle invoice. So let me go ahead and check what that means. It's order invoice to dealer. Pretty much, I think general owners have sent over the invoice to your dealership for the car that you ordered. Yes. So at that point, so when the car get there, you can figure out all this stuff. But you, at this point, you should already know how much your car will cost. 
because you already built your car through Chevrolet or your dealership and they pretty much got your order stat so you already know what the invoice is going to be so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the last seven codes about the C8 Mini Engine Corvette and like I said before I want to thank each and every one of you ladies and gentlemen for watching this video here today and I love each and every one of you and for all your support Whew, 2020 Corvette's kind of hot in here it's a little, it's a little toasty kick me Oh, so y'all, <laughs> you think this is funny, huh? Oh, you laughing really hard about that in the corners. You must have did this, didn't you? think this is funny? You think this is funny? You think this is funny? Kick me? This is nothing. Is this what got the last year to leave? Because I ain't going nowhere. Like I said before, I said this over and over again. I'm C going to speed 252. I'm not going anywhere. This is not going to, this is not going to, I'm not going to leave this job. I'm going to make sure you guys learn everything you need to know about the C-Minage Corvette. From the tire thread. From the oil pressure. Yes from the drivability, from all the colors, from all the specs, from why the square exhaust is square, for how many inches it is, how many clips holds on the exhaust. In this class, you're gonna know every single thing about C8 Mini Engine Corvette in this video, and this class. So you think this is funny? How about, just make it even better. Kick me, ha. <laughs> so we already got the next seven codes erased on the board. Let's go ahead and prepare for the last seven codes before I get into more further in depth about what these codes means and how to contact the dealership to figure out everything you need to know about where your car is right now. Kick me. <laughs> you think this is funny? This ain't funny. So, do you, I'm going to say you, because this is supposed to say customer, but you are the customer. You will be future customers, but you are the customer. So I'm going to just say you. And the last code we got is 9,000, which doesn't seem like a code that I think you will enjoy, depending on who you are, reasons for this being done to. So, with that being said, we have the last seven codes on the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's not much to really go through about these codes, but I'm going to tell you right now, these are probably some great codes to see. So you have the 42, 4,200 level status, which is vehicle shipped. At this point, the vehicle has been shipped to wherever it needs to go, whether it's going to be to your house, the National Corvette Museum, or the dealership. If you're going to the National Corvette Museum, I heard that's going to be a great experience for you, so I hope you enjoy it. For all of you that get your car shipped to the National Corvette Museum, tell me your experience, tell me how that goes, um, because my C7 Corvette, I just picked it up from the dealership. Um, the 4,000 and 300 intermediate delivery. We already know what that means, it's explanatory. The 4000 V03 estimated delivery date. This is pretty much telling you what day your car should be delivered on. So you're probably sitting like, like the kids in the candy shop or the kids waiting on Christmas. Like, I know Christmas is on December 25th, but what kind of toys I'm gonna get? This is what's gonna happen for you, you guys. You know, for all of you that are excited about this car, you better go in and see, okay, my car will be delivered to the dealership or the National Corp Museum on February 2nd or April 5th, like, that'd be great. You have the 4,800 status rear ramp unloaded. We already know what that is, that's self-explanatory as well. You have the 5,000 vehicle delivery to dealer. He pretty much saying that this has arrived. Um, and 6,000 vehicle delivered to you, which means that now at 6,000 status, the car should be at your house in your driveway. If it's not there and you got this code status, Something's wrong. Somebody is, is pretty much driving your C8 Corvette around the world. They're having a great time. You may get it with a little better miles on it. I'm joking. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just giving you a hard time. But anyways, the 6,000 status mean vehicle should be delivered to you. If you're in a 9,000 status, I can't tell you why your order will be canceled. It could be due to you realize that maybe you didn't want the car you want to win on a Z06 version. I know a lot of you have been talking about that recently. It could be that Chevrolet decided to cancel your order for any reason. I don't know exactly why. But you don't want to be in a 9,000 status unless you decided to do it yourself. But these are the last seven codes and things you need to know about a 2020 Corvette. Like I said before, I have a lot more to teach you at the end of this video. So this is a video that you want to take some popcorn, cross your legs, write some notes, and jot these codes down because you will need to know exactly what each one of these codes means so you know exactly where your car at in the order process. I'm going to tell you that at the end of this video. Before I finish the rest of this video, I want to thank Dave Solomon for giving this information to provide to you all. I want to thank Keith from Corvette Blogger as well for giving this information to provide for you all. Keith is a really great friend of mine. I want to give him some support and show him some love. He gave me this nice Corvette Special Editions book that was made by him. This has every Special Edition Corvette that's in it. 
<laughs> you see you got that Grand Sport C7 in the front cover. Ha <laughs> ha So you take a look here. This is my autograph copy of this book. Two Clarence, keep waving from Keith. You guys can get your own autograph copy as well from Keith personally, or you can order this book from Amazon. I can tell you right now, this is a great book. You will learn a lot of great things about the special edition Corvettes, and he's a great guy, so definitely go show him some love and some support and buy his new book. It's really great, I'm telling you right now. You're not getting this copy. I'm not giving this copy away. This will not be a giveaway. Just letting you know. No, no, no. Um, kick me. <laughs> you think y'all got some more jokes, huh? Oh, subscribe to Seek on the Speed 252. Look at that. They trying to, my students are so, they, they have their moments. They're trying to be nice. They think they slick. They're just trying to use this to get out of taking that test later on, huh? You, you think that's going to, no, you're still taking that test later. I think I greatly appreciate it, though. But you're still taking that test later. So don't forget to subscribe to Seek on the Speed 252. You're still taking the test, though. So don't even think that's going to slide. It's not. It's not going to slide. Where's my uh, eraser at? So with that being said, Let's hop into the rest of the video about how you can find out about the order status of your car. Dealership communication is step number one to finding out where your CA managed Corvette lies within GM order status codes. All you have to do is call your dealership, provide them with your order number, and they can tell you where your car at depending on the status with General Motors. General Motors Corvette Concierge Program. You can actually contact them yourselves with the order number that you have for your C8 management Corvette, you gotta go through a couple of steps. It's not that difficult. Contact them. I will also give you your number, which is 1-866-424-3892. You contact them and tell them your order number. They can tell you exactly where your car lies at within GM order status. So those are the steps to finding out where exactly where your C8 management Corvette lies within GM. And I can tell you right now, it is a cool feeling to know exactly where your car is. If you have any questions at all, all my contact information will be at the end of this video. My email address, all that stuff, my social media, all that stuff will be at the end of this video if you have any questions regarding that process.